3 0 sweep on the morning wager yesterday. How about that? 15 and 5 the last five days for all of you who have been listening. Smash that like button if you've been enjoying these free winners. Mark Zinno, you're going to do uh, your half of the double play here in just a second. We have an early game, Seattle and Houston. You're going to tackle that. I will say, folks, all of you loyal listeners, loyal viewers, I should say, of the Morning Wager, if you don't know what game I'm doing for my half of the double play, I'm a little disappointed in you. You have a couple minutes to figure it out if you already don't know. But Mark, the Houston Astros are now a playoff team, as you said they would be on yesterday's show. They have clinched this line as moving. Apparently, betters think that this team was out partying all night. There's probably a good chance they're resting their key players. Seattle, still trying to lock down, trying to chase down Detroit for that last wild card is a favorite in Houston today as they face old teammate Yusei Kikuchi. Talk to me about this game. Okay. I'll talk to you. Um, <laughs> let's see. The Astros clinched last night. Um, they yes. probably popped a lot of champagne. They probably drank a lot of it, drank a lot of beer. Uh, they were probably up late last night um, celebrating and uh, didn't really get that much rest. Lo and behold, quick turnaround for a 2 p.m. start, uh, 1 o'clock Central Time, that would be. Uh, Yeah, I don't think the Astros are going to be ready to play today. Um, Even though Yusei Kikuchi has been very good at home, and I've backed him a ton, a lot, since he uh, put on an Astros uniform, and it's been very, very profitable. However, uh, you need to score runs to be able to uh, win a baseball game. And while I can tell you that I have played baseball hungover before, um, I have gotten a hit playing baseball hungover before, but more often than not, the David Wells hungover perfect game performance is the rarity from hungover <laughs> baseball players. So we're going to bet against the hungover Astros uh, and bet on the Seattle Mariners who have a lot more to play for here. And the Astros letting their foot off the gas pedal a little bit. You know, look, I would tell you another way to a pro- couple of different ways to approach this, maybe a first five under just because Kikuchi still will be decent regardless. Um, but the number is so low because the total for the game is seven with the two starters that you have there. It's a really tough ask. Um, also, maybe under for the game. But again, also really tough ask. So let's just bet against the, the hungover guys, uh, the hungover Astros, and bet on the Mariners. And look, if I say anything right, you know, uh, I, it, it, it's, it's a miracle. But uh, let's go with the Mariners today because why not? Uh, they have something to play for and the hungover Astros don't. Mark Zinno was right about that game yesterday. And he says, take the sober team this afternoon. By the way, can I just say something else? You know, uh, I was, I, I, I I really liked the Yankees to win yesterday. Um, and I thought they were going to clinch at home. Uh, but that bet got mushed, um, by, by, by the Orient Express, uh, and his (laughs) outfits. There you go. Way to go, dude. Stay off my plays next time. Thanks. See you, buddy. Oh, and now no. the Yankees got that Nestor Cortez. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about the Yankees later on, okay? Your Yankees. I'd love to hear some stories from your youth reading for, uh, rooting for the Yankees. Anyway, again, Mark Zeno likes the sober team this afternoon. The Seattle Mariners, smash that like button if you agree. And yes, everybody, for my half of the double play, I absolutely am talking about the Braves and Mets. Uh, two days in a row, Mark and I are talking about the same uh, teams in our half of the double play. We were right. We were both right yesterday. Let's do it again today. And yes, the reason I am taking the Braves in the first five is because they have Chris Sale starting and the Mets have David Peterson, a.k.a. Bernie Madoff, the biggest fraud in all of baseball. We have been through it so many times before the program. David Peterson, his actual ERA, Mark, is now up over three, 3.08, because he's been rocked two of his last three starts. But still, that expected ERA sitting at 4.81. That is one of the biggest differences between actual and expected ERA in all baseball. Only Atlanta's Reynaldo Lopez has a bigger discrepancy. But you know who uh, who's actual, expected, and whatever kind of ERA you want to talk about is very good? Chris Sale of the Braves. He's won eight straight decisions, leads the NL in wins, ERA, strikeouts, uh, so that's the, that's the triple crown for pitchers is what they call it. He's second in whip as well, 1.01, fourth in opponent's batting average at 216. This guy is the re- real deal. He is the presumptive uh, National League Cy Young winner. Again, one guy's for real. The other guy's a fraud. 
We cast the Braves yesterday. Let's take them first five today. I will lay the half run. Chris Sale is a much, much better pitcher than David Peterson. Yesterday on the show, we talked about this NL wildcard race, Mark. I want to throw this in there. Yesterday, you could have bet Arizona three to one to miss the playoffs. My client play was dead wrong yesterday. Arizona's bats did not show up. I think at Arizona all. is going to be the team. Yeah, no, at all. They literally, literally did not cross the plate once. Arizona, I believe, is going to be the team, uh, the odd team out in the NL playoff picture. Book it, Dano. That's uh, my take um, right there. I think. A couple things real quick. I'll, I'll add one more to you. David Peterson did face the Mets back on July 28th. That's when he, he took faced his the first loss of the season. I'm, yeah, I faced the Braves, rather. Um, <laughs> that's when he took his first loss of the season. Five innings, four hits, four runs, a home run, three walks. Yeah. So, um, by all means, Brian Bauer, bet against David Peterson again because it's been so profitable for you. Hey, it's been working lately. I said that regression was coming. He's got a 5-3-3 ERA, by the way, lifetime against the Atlanta Braves. David Peterson, thumbs down. I, I mean, all right. I, it, it, what are the Tigers right now to, to make the playoffs? You're asking me a lot of questions right now that I wasn't prepared to answer. Uh, do, let's take a look. Do, 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 do your job. Because, okay, well, again, I'm, I'm bringing it up. Okay, Kevin Hart, you know, he does a lot of commercials. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look here. All right. I mean, I'm going to look, look like the Twins still have to play the Orioles in the final three games of the season. I, the, the, the Minnesota Twins are dead as a doorknob. OK, I mean, this team lost to the Miami Marlins yesterday. Four to one. I as mean, two dollar and 40 cent favorite with Bailey Ober on the mound. Bailey Ober on the mound. I mean, that is just a kiss of death right there. Like, hang it up. Um, the Royals yes. finally snapped their seven game losing streak yesterday. So there is that. Yes, uh, it took extra innings to finally score. So the Detroit Tigers to make the playoffs, minus 1,100. The sports books are putting the Detroit Tigers in wow. the playoffs right there. I mean, it, it's pretty – I mean, the, yesterday's results broke nicely for them. So let us know who you think are going to make the playoffs in those remaining spots down in the comments section below. Love to hear from you. Love to hear from your – love to hear your takes. Uh, two teams – Actually, let's do that. Let's remind the people first about the special offer we've got going on at wagertalk.com. Three month, if you buy a three month all access, we will throw in a fourth month of service free. That is a $299 uh, discount right there. You get 120 days worth of plays, less than $49 per week, less than $7 per day. Every sport, reminder number one in football so far to start the season, yours truly has been a great start. Number one in soccer, too. Mark doesn't like when I talk about soccer, but I will point out that I am number one since April. So head on over to wt.buzz slash bp, wt.buzz slash mz, and subscribe today. I will have one 4% play in baseball uh, for this evening. Mark, is there anything you would like to inform our fine viewers that you have going on at your page? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. Okay. All right, we move on. He's not the best other man in the league for nothing, folks. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, we and to the best bet we go. Two teams that are in the playoffs already because Baltimore won. I'm sorry, Baltimore did win last night. I have to just talk about what happened. Set the game up. Uh, Orioles, in all likelihood, are going to be the top AL wild card. The Yankees still in position to have home field advantage in the American League, although that lead dropped to a game and a half over the Guardians. Good. Good. We are going to talk yeah. about your favorite starting pitcher, a man who looks great in pinstripes, Nasty Nestor. You've said so yeah. many terrible things about this guy all year, okay? Four of his last five starts, he's given up zero or one earned runs. We like the Yankees today on the money line because the oh, Orioles yeah. were another team celebrating. They might be drunk. Uh, we're, the, or the Yankees are our show best bet. Tell the people why you believe in Nasty Nestor, why you believe in your New York Yankees, why you believe uh, in Aaron Boone. I'm going to take this moment here just to kind of say what I want to say and not really care what your question is. Um, oh, no. Or, or what you're asking me to do. One, Nestor Cortez only looks good in pinstripes because there's more of them to go around him. Okay? So there's that. That's number one. Uh, number two, this is like a, a, a literal slice of torture. As I'm sitting here watching the Orioles, okay, who I need four more wins to get over their season win total versus one more loss, play the Yankees to watch them torture me to stop the Yankees from actually clinching 
when I bet on the Yankees last night to clinch, that I would bet on them again tonight to clinch to finally do it. So the Orioles are going to end up, when it's all said and done, with 90 wins. I will miss their season win total by a half, by one stinking win. Thank you, Craig Kimbrell, for sucking ass the entire year as a closer and blowing multiple saves. Now those are starting to hurt. And oh, by the way, tonight, I have to back Nestor Cortez, who is terrible, who's not going to be on the postseason roster, not going to be in the postseason rotation. And I don't care how hurt his feelings are because he stinks. He's not good. and He doesn't deserve to be here. So you can sit here and tell me how great he's been in his last three starts against the Cubs and the the Red Sox and the Mariners who can't hit. Uh, Oh, by the way, the Yankees won all three of those games, 2-0, 2-1, and 2-1. Because apparently the Yankees still can't hit. Like last night when they couldn't get a damn hit against Dean Kramer, of all people. His freaking long-ass hair and his stupid ponytail. He, he, can get, he can't get any other team out other than okay. the Yankees. What? They what? couldn't run the bases as well either. The, Yan- the, the, Yan- the Yankees had a lot of problems running the bases. I, I'm sorry. I turned, the, I turned the game on last night to root for you. And the Yankees had this horrible base running blunder. I was like, oh, no. I, I felt terrible. Good I couldn't call. text you. I Good didn't know what to call. say. Good call, Tokyo Brandon. Good call. Okay. Let's all. It's a new day. It's a new day. Yes, it is. All right. New York Yankees are our show best bet. Way, Let us know down in the comment section what your best bet is. I was on Wager Talk today, yesterday, with Brandon. And you Adam were. Trigger. Right, let me tell you something. Yes. Okay. All good friends I- of mine. I, I literally could have wrote a doctoral thesis before I actually got on the air for that show. <laughs> like, my God, how long can you talk about a play? Like, it, 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 this is not war and peace. It is a quick handicap. It, uh, my entire two plays took less than six minutes, okay? I got on at 1245 <laughs> and was out by 1251. Between the two, it took 45 minutes. My God. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I couldn't have said it better myself. Dear Lord. I can tell you well, I'm going less than six minutes, but that's a different podcast yeah. for a different day. Please smash is. that like button if you've been enjoying the morning wager. How could you not enjoy the morning wager this morning? Mark Zitto is on one. I am laughing. That is a thumbs up right there in case if you're unclear on what we were asking you today's to do. If you have not some- bet against drunk people. That's today's theme. Bet against drunk people. <laughs> I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. That is some good advice, man. Uh, if you Except are not already subscribed to the wager talk- Except when Brian then you want to bet with it. Well, then you want to bet with the drunk people. Yeah, I, I'm not actually playing, as you know. Rally without a plea, without a rally, rally break. Exactly. And there you go. There you go. I'm not. I'm not an athlete. No one asks me to ever be on the field, as you know. Anyway, if you have not already subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel, why would you not have done that? You get this show every Monday through uh, every day, Monday through Friday. A lot of laughs. Power Five as well. A lot of other great content here on the channel. Uh, I so. Subscribe. Yeah, I think you're tremendous, Mark Zeno. I, you, you are just a ray of sunshine every day for me at 8.30 Eastern okay. when we record this program. Right where the sun doesn't shine. That's where the rain and then, and then this gets me in a good mood to go back to sit down and start typing. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs>